All right, come on in, hit the like button, think of subscribing if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 MCU film called Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So here's the plot. Still reeling from the loss of Gamora, Peter Quill must rally his team to defend the universe and protect one of their own. If the mission is not completely successful, it could possibly lead to the end of the Guardians as we know them. Here is some of the cast. This film is two hours and a half long. I'm hoping this doesn't become more of a thing by the way I heard this film is more serious going into this and uh, it has dark spots in here as well to the point that they were definitely not made for children. This has a more darker tone while also having that adult fun kind of family to it but I would definitely not say it's a family to it but there was definitely some disgusting parts in here. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the idea of a dark Marvel film for once. Uh, we get, you know, this tip, this over-the-top family type of typical, stereotypical Disney for Marvel film. So I, I'm hoping we're still leading towards uh, more of adult films, uh, like, like 15 and up, I guess you'd say. 15 or 16 and up, all the way up. So they're more darker, more more violent and or it doesn't even need to be violent it just needs to be more of a, a, a serious tone compared to the over the top joking corniness we get now there was definitely some corniness too in some spots and overdone spots and with the comedy but it definitely compared to other stuff uh, this was actually pretty tame now obviously you got to expect this not being a perfect film uh, I mean, not per not saying it's not perfect. What I'm saying is, what you th expect is compared to the other films, this is more of a fun type of film. Now, I, either way, I would bring Kleenexes. Uh, as for some reason, Disney loves to make films where you make you cry. Have you ever noticed that? Now, I know this is Marvel Studios, but remember, Disney owns the rights and has control over this. Now, the main villain had the potential to be a worthy villain, in my opinion. However, the actor overdid it with the acting in plenty of spots. Especially the conclusion big fight scene. That was so overdone. Uh, I also say in the first half of the film, Quill was really layering it too thick with the pestering of Gamora. It got annoying and tiresome pretty quick. You need to tone that down, and I would have liked him more. But let's be real here, this was really a Rocket the Raccoon film, unlike the last two, where there was a Quill story to him. Now there's definitely a Quill story to it, but the main thing, just like you could tell in the trailer, what they hinted at, is this is going to be Rocky Raccoon main story. And Quill going to be a side story. Which I don't think we really needed in this one, to be honest, but and whatever. After this time, after all this time, we finally get Rocket's backstory. Why it took so long throughout the amount of Marvel films is beyond me. For the most part, I really had fun time with the story and the right. Most just wish the casting was different with the main villain. Honestly, got not much else to say. So, here is my rating. So, in my opinion, it wasn't bad. I really liked it. Did have a couple of issues here and there. But overall, I liked it for what it was. A lot, actually. I had a really fun time with it. Um, would I say this is my favorite one so far? Um, I think, to be honest, oddly enough, to throw a, a monkey wrench in there, uh, the my favorite one would be their uh, spinoff, which was the holiday special. <laughs> uh, but if out of the three, I think... I like the second one, to be honest. I know it's going to be a little controversy on that, but I do. I like the second one, uh, as far as I can remember, uh, compared to the first one and this this one. But, you know, um, yeah, uh, 
If I haven't already asked, please tell me in the comments below what you guys think. Um, but remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. And I do apologize. I'm having a rough time doing this this thing, this this recording right now. So I'm a little bit out of breath. It's hot. It, it, the air sucked out of the room pretty much. So, um, but uh, yeah. So I remember, I love you all again. School.